Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and model the antenna for our car. And that's just an image I've uh, downloaded off of Google. And it's, you know, just one specific shape. It's, you know, pretty much just a cylinder that we're going to edit. And, you know, it, it's sort of important to, to do all these little pieces, especially when doing a car, because, you know, all those little details actually count, um, especially whenever you're going to, you know, put this image or do a tutorial like this. You know, you really want to do all those little details, and sometimes a lot of people actually won't do those sort of details. So you really want to put a lot of effort into, into cars, and, you know, you really want to try to capture all those little details. And you can see I'm just, you know, extruding faces and extruding faces and extruding faces on this since it's just a cylinder that I can, you know, just basically extrude up, duplicate a face, extrude a face, extrude a face. That's basically all it is. And you can see I'm going to duplicate the, the face there on the top. basically just extrude that up whoops forgot forgot to extrude there and we'll go ahead and duplicate those faces It just takes a little bit of, a little bit of time to go ahead and make this antenna. Just a lot of extrusions, basically it. Need to add a couple extra edge loops here. And this just takes a little bit of time because it's, you know, mainly just a lot of extrusions and pressing G on the keyboard to reuse the last tool used or repeat the last command used. And it's just extrude up, extrude up. And I'm doing this, you know, mainly so I can get the right edges in the right places so that I don't actually have to add those edges later. It's going to be easier to do it, you know, in the beginning rather than having to go back and add all those edges. We'll go ahead and same thing here. Go ahead and add our edges. which is going to take a little bit of time. And as you can see, I didn't extrude out, and I'll show you the reason why here in a little bit for that middle part, and I'll show you why we didn't, why I didn't do that.
basically again just you know duplicate a face extrude up I don't think we really need the uh, the nut and bolt there on the the one that's actually in the picture I think that's a nut and bolt or it might be a hole in the in the cylinder I'm not 100% sure and I'm not gonna you know go ahead and cut that in I'm you can on little things like that we can probably skip a little bit we'll go ahead and make the the last part of our antenna here just need to extrude out and then we'll extrude up extrude up again scale it down one more time and a little bit and there you go there is basically our antenna shape now we just need to to go ahead and add some edge loops and uh, extrude some faces out and we can call that our antenna so let's go ahead and uh, add a smooth mesh modifier there so we can retain the shape a little bit I have to go back because I forgot to to add the edges there before I add the smooth mesh modifier. I'm just basically adding edges everywhere that I can here so that we can retain its shape. checking to make sure it all smooths you know the way that I want it to smooth select the faces here that need to get that sort of beveled look to it and it's just basically every other face section and it just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and select all the faces and I'm just selecting one and then double clicking the second one to select the entire ring go ahead and extrude it out a little bit and then extrude down and pull it out a smidge and basically that's an easy way to capture all the detail on the antenna there I just have to go ahead and add all the edge loops to the, to the model Same with the top here. And that antenna is, you know, looking pretty good right now. just have to basically sharpen up the edge there I have to put a couple more edges here on this part so that it's going to hold its shape It's looking, you know, pretty good right now. And this is why I didn't extrude out because I'm going to use a lattice deformer to go ahead and shape it a little bit easier. And I want to do this on a on an even number so that I can, you know, basically just scale it out.
just go ahead and add the bottom edge loop to that. Double it up, and there is our antenna. I just have to probably add our edge loops to our final piece there. So it's going to retain its shape. And it just takes a little bit of time since there are so many faces. And as you can see, it's fairly simple to go ahead and model our antenna.